Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to answer a question under this topic, which is acid, bases, and salts, particularly a calculation involving weak bases. The question reads Morphine is a weak base. A 0 0.15 molar solution of morphine has a pH of 10.5. What is the KB for morphine? KB is simply requesting us to calculate the ionization constant of this weak base. So let's see how we answer. The first step you need to take is for you to get information that has been given from the question. The first information we can get is the concentration of morphine the concentration of morphine we have been given that it is 0 0.15 m the next thing that we have been given is the ph of this solution so the ph of this solution is equal to 10.5 we have been asked to calculate the ionization constant which is the kb so kb we don't have but because this is a weak base we can come up with its ionization equation now in my equation i'll represent morphine as m so what do i mean i'm simply saying when m which is morphine, which is in aquas, is in this water solution, or rather in this water, when it dissociates, it should produce positive ions, which is MH positive aquas, and the OH negative ions. So this is the dissociation equation of this weak base. At this point, we can use this information now to calculate the KB. So let's first use the pH in step one. We want to use the pH for us to find the pOH of this solution. So we know that pH plus POH is equal to 14. So we have the pH, we can calculate the POH. So pH is 10.5 plus POH is equal to 14. So we are saying POH is equal to 14 minus 10.5. So POH is equal to 14 minus 10.5. It is giving us 3.5. So this is the POH of this solution. Point we can use this POH to calculate the concentration of this OH, which is in this equation so how do we calculate the concentration we know that poh is equal to the negative log of the concentration of oh negative ions there so we want to find the concentration of oh by using the poh there so I can make the concentration, the subject of the formula, which will be equal to the antlog of the negative POH there. So the concentration of OH is equal to antlog of negative. 3.5 that we have here. So the concentration of POH negative 
will be the antlog of negative 3.5, which is giving us 3.16 times 10 to the power negative 4 m. So this is the concentration of OH that we have. This equation that we have here, we have now the concentration of morphine. We also have the concentration of OH ions. Now, when it comes to us finding the Kb, in the next step, we need to remember that the concentration of OH ions can be calculated by the square root of Kb, then this square root of Kb should be multiplied by the concentration of morphine. So we can make Kb the subject of the formula. If I make Kb the subject of the formula, it will be equal to Kb is equal to the concentration of OH in negative squared divided by the concentration of the morphine. So this is what we need now to do. So Kb is equal to the concentration of uh, OH ions is 3.16 times 10 to the power negative 4. This should be squared divided by 0. Uh, one five. At this point, we can find the 3.16 times 10 to the power negative 4 squared. So let's do that one. 3.16 uh, times 10 to the power negative 4 squared. It is giving us the answer of 9.98 times 10 to the power negative 8. So this should be divided by 0 0.15. So Kb is equal to the answer that we have, the answer that we have, divided by 0 0.15. It is giving us 6.657 times 10 to the power negative 7 as the value for Kb. So, this is the value for Kb that we have calculated. Now, what have you seen in this video? When you have been given a weak base, the first thing you need to do is to convert the pH that you have been given to pOH. That pOH should help you to calculate the concentration of OH ions that are in the dissociation equation. After you find the uh, concentration of OH ions, use this link. That is, the concentration of OH ion is equal to the square root of the ionization constant multiplied by the concentration of the reactant, which is the weak base. Thereafter, what you need is just to do the mathematics there and manages to find the value of uh, the ionization constant. So hopefully you have benefited from this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us for this and more videos.